What's going on everybody? I'm Tank. This is another episode of Roadie Reactions. It's another Wednesday, which means it's time for another Nightwish Wednesday. If you're new to the channel or you're not familiar, this is the day of the week that I have dedicated to continuing my personal journey with the music of Nightwish. I can't get enough of this band since I first heard them a couple months ago, and this is the best way that I can continue on just listening to more of their music and learning more about them. So we're gonna continue on. The last few weeks I've been doing a lot of older stuff, a lot of stuff from End of an Era, and I didn't know what to do this week, and one of the admins on the Night Dreamers Reacticide Discord said, what about this song? And then I remembered that a lot of you, two months ago when I first started this journey, recommended this song as well. So I'm gonna do it. And we are taking a trip back to Vakken 2013. These crowds are always crazy. The shows are always great. So I'm excited about it. This is gonna be fun. I will link the video in the description below. And today I am gonna be listening to Nightwish and for the first time hearing their song Ghost River live at Vakken 2013. Let's go. <laughs> been waiting for a time to pause so I could talk. It's killing me. Um, this rocks, man. So, if anybody that's watching is not familiar, I assume if you are watching this, you probably know way more about this band than I do, but this was from a time where Floor, their vocalist, had not even been with the band for a full year yet. She came in Super short notice. Actually, there's a great documentary called Learn This Set in 48 Hours. She had 48 hours to basically learn a full set list of theirs and join the band. The fact that she is singing this well and has so much chemistry with them in this short a time with this band is phenomenal. And I always thought that Tuomas did such a good job at composing the music specifically for the singer that they had at the time. And she can come in and just crush everything. Um, if I had to guess, I would say this is a Taria era, era Nightwish song. I could be wrong, but it's I, I'm trying to imagine if Taria or Annette would be singing this, and it seems like it would be Taria. Um, let's keep going, and we'll talk about some gear at the next break.
All right, so we're probably going into a bridge, but <laughs> as I've said in other videos, yeah, I'll figure out where they're going later. And they always go in a totally different direction than what I expected. But um, this is great so far. First gut reaction, I don't think this is my favorite Nightwish song I've heard. Probably not even in the top half of favorites, but it's still a great song and I'm digging it. I like how much rock vibe it has. Gear wise, pretty standard from a lot of the other stuff I've seen. Yuka's back there on the drums. Great to see another video with him. Um, Tama, drums artist. I believe he's also playing Peisty cymbals. Um, Tuomas, I don't know a ton about keyboards, so I don't know specifically what brands he uses or if he's endorsed, but the contraption that they have around his keyboards is always really cool to see. And somebody told me that that's actually a wine rack. I'll try and find that out. I'm sure there's a lot of you that are probably nodding right now, knowing that's the answer. Uh, Empu looks like he's playing his ESP signature, which is the EV1. The reason I think it's the one is because I know the two had the girl on it and the three was the Imaginarum guitar. That one is just purple. So that's gotta be the EV1. Marco is using a Warwick as always, but I have not seen him with that model yet. That's a buzzard, which I don't see that often. That's super cool. I like the double but reversed P style pickups on those. They sound really good. Um, production wise, all I've seen, ooh, voice crack. Production wise, all I've seen so far is just great lighting looks and video going on. I haven't seen any pyro. Um, just a good all around rock look. Let's go to what I'm assuming is this bridge. <laughs> oh, good pinch harmonics. That was cool. Wow, that was an abrupt stop. <laughs> Let's go talk about it. So that was my ninth, maybe 10th Nightwish song I've heard so far. And I still have loved every song I've heard. And I know these guys have a huge catalog. There's inevitably gonna be a time where I hear a song where I'm just like, yeah, I don't really like it. But it hasn't happened yet. And I remember saying in the video, this song is probably in my bottom half of favorite songs if I had to rank them so far but even by the end of that I got the feeling that after another couple listens and even probably while editing this I'm gonna be loving it it might creep up the list it was just a solid good rock song had a lot of cool stuff going on man and I enjoyed it and like I said 
Knowing what I know now about some of the history of these guys and that this was one of Floor's first huge performances after joining this band, super impressive to just walk in and sing other people's songs. These songs were not written for her and she still crushes it. Like, if I saw these guys and didn't know anything about them at all, I probably would think she was the original singer for this band. I actually might have in Ghost Love Score. I can't remember, or somebody might have told me, but production-wise, there was only one thing I noticed that I wanted to bring up because I saw somebody ask me in the comments about it. When they show the shots of Yuka from behind him drumming, you can see somebody sitting back there behind him. That is his drum tech. The reason that a lot of drum techs are back there, I did this with a couple bands, is so if anything goes wrong, your tech is right there. They can jump in, they can fix something, and you'll also notice when there are techs on stage like that, you're not gonna really see them from the front of the crowd. They do a very good job at hiding behind cases. That's why you see him so low behind the track rig that's there. I assume it's the track rig, it's in a big flight case, and that's usually where they are for drummers. But so, if something breaks, if he loses a stick and needs more, tech's right there to fix everything. That's why they are back there. They're not there necessarily because something is wrong now, it's for later. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I appreciate everybody watching. And if you're new, feel free to click subscribe. I release new videos six days a week and do a live stream on Sundays. So if you turn the notifications on, you'll be alerted the second stuff comes out. If you liked the video, I would greatly appreciate the like. If you disliked it, you're free to dislike it. It's totally fine. I'm on a ton of social media as well. I even have my own Discord server that I hang out and talk on a lot. I'm also on the Night Dreamers Reacticide Discord server a ton hanging out too. It's just a big Discord server for Nightwish fans from all over the world to hang out on. They have three, almost 4,000 members on there, so it's always active. I'll drop the link to that in the description if you're a Nightwish fan and you'd like to join. And my handle on everything social media related is at Tank the Tech. Thank you so much once again for watching. I will be back very soon for another episode of Roadie Reactions.